Meet Dimension 7 Yo. I could, I could pull a spirit move and do 50 million backflips no one's ever seen before and land on my feet. Tron Wellborn, also known as Dimension 7 Yo, is a 36-year-old TikTok content creator, well known for his absolutely insane toy reviews. After a long day of working at a Trader Joe's distribution center, Tron would come home to his girlfriend and make absolutely unhinged TikToks, displaying his high-energy, erratic, possibly schizophrenic personality. Having zero regard for how loud he was or how eccentric he looked on camera, he would proudly display his new toys to the world. Much to the dismay of his apartment's next door neighbors. The Flash! I got my new Nike clothes on. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. With the new shoes! <laughs> Christmas, everyone! <laughs> the Mention 7 Yo's here! Flash, flash, flash. Woo! Tron lives in an apartment and he has neighbors right next to him. He could not care less how loud he is. He would make TikToks like this almost every day. And sometimes it wasn't just him making these TikToks. His girlfriend was in on the whole thing. She's his biggest fan, and neither of them care for how many people they are inconveniencing by making these TikToks. Because toy reviews are not the only kind of content on Dimension 7 Yo. Tron will often talk about how he can go into a portal as a rapper, come back out and be a rock star. He's a multifaceted musician. So not only is he stomping on the ground, but he's also rapping and playing guitar. Basically holding his own mini rock concert while you and your family are trying to eat dinner in peace. Now, while your family dinner may have been ruined by all the noise, that is not the case for Dimension 7 Yo. Because believe me when I say, you will know when he has been served his food. Now after seeing the sheer ball of energy that is Dimension 7 Yo, you're probably wondering how he can keep getting away with being so noisy. I mean, for over a year now at this point, he has been making TikToks, screaming at the top of his lungs, stomping on the floors. Sure enough, his next door neighbors filed complaints. And one day he received a warning outside of his apartment, telling him that if he wasn't quiet, he would be evicted. This did scare Dimension 7 Yo. He had comments every day telling him that the videos would not be the same without the screaming, and by his own admission, he loved to do it. It was because of this that he grew to strongly dislike the neighbors who had reported him, and eventually after him either just not caring or genuinely forgetting, he returned to being loud in his TikToks. Some would say even louder and crazier than before. There's a hundred thousand likes. The aliens finally made it. The 
aliens, they finally made it. The aliens, they finally made it. I'm climbing. I'm a mountain boy. Just trying to climb with the aliens. They're in outer space. Ah! Titan. Ah! They're here. Ah! Ah! They're here. Hold up. Ah, never before, never before, never before. Ah. Ah. They're here. But Tron wasn't just at war with the neighbors, he was also at war with TikTok fan pages. You see, Tron used to have a TikTok account called Dimension 7R with over 200,000 followers on it. After that one was deleted for reasons that I cannot ascertain, he created Dimension 7 Yo and he had significantly less followers than his top fan page, Dimension's Floor. It was here where true fans of his began to notice the change that was occurring in Tron and his content. He would go live on TikTok just to complain about fan pages and tell the world how great he was. It was a far cry from the glory days of WWE figurine reviews. And the fans were beginning to pick up on this, but Dimension 7 Yo didn't care. All he cared about was getting his sub count back up to his previous channel. And if that meant going to war with the people that were stealing his content, so be it. All those people that sold their souls, those are the ones making all the money. I told people millions of times, God's on my side, and every time I try to make money and doing what I love to do, everybody else always steals my content, takes my ideas, because they don't they think for themselves. They don't know how to do nothing for themselves. That's a, that's a sad that's a sad world we live in. That's just the way the world is. Listen, if you see that I'm up, don't give me a fan page. I don't care about a fan page. I hate fan pages. So if you see I'm up, you see I'm going, you see I'm doing well, stay the fuck away from me. Don't go nowhere near me. Everything I say, they turn it around. But yet, everybody can do whatever they want. See, people can talk about F this, F that, F this, F that. They can even talk about people that I look up to. They'll, they even talk about people that's in the office. And I, and I respect them versus all the other ones that are in the past. But that's another story. We go back to what I was talking about. It don't matter. They're going to talk about F this, F that, F this, F that. But yet, I'm still here talking normal. Not saying F this, F that, F this, F that, F this, F that. I'm talking about people stealing my content and stealing my stuff. And me being better than everyone else and everybody being jealous of me. And as you can see, even when Tron is trying to act normal, he's still pretty crazy. I mean, even if you plan on making the kind of content that he's been making, you have to have a next level kind of energy to be able to pull it off. And then you just have to not care about getting evicted and love screaming at the top of your lungs. Tron is most definitely crazy, with what I do not know. But what I do know is that he became more and more unhinged on his TikTok as time rolled on. The compounding stresses of a full-time job, having his TikTok account taken away, and then of course all this drama with the fan pages had taken a toll on him. And it was around this time that he began to speak more about different dimensions, saying that he could go into a portal that he created and come back out a different person. He would talk about angels, he would scream. Let me show you some clips of just where his head was at during this time, because it will become quite apparent why he is in jail today. <sighs> No! I know the spirits! 
are There's sacred angels above. Through all the negativity. I just got to keep climbing the ladder. I got banned a long time ago. Then I got back on. I'm climbing the ladder. Sacred angels above. I made myself famous on another platform. They keep taking my views. They got a fake fan page. God has to help me. Sacred angels above! And despite becoming progressively more unhinged, like a mountain boy, his new channel climbed up to almost where his old channel was in terms of followers. Tron was excited that another TikTok career opportunity had reared its head, and he knew that the loud content was the way to do this. With his next door neighbors filing constant noise complaints, he resented them more and more as time went on. Eventually making this video I'm about to show you, which is extremely racially charged, I had to cut a lot of it out and censor a lot of it, I'm just warning you, it was pretty bad. Who gives a fuck what I said? You got a problem with it? Get off my goddamn shit. I got 40 different personalities for music. They done fucked up. I got ways where I can go in a portal. I'm not even a fucking schizo. I can go in a porta, portal and I can turn into a rapper. Come back and be a rocker. Come back and be whatever I want to fucking be. I can go to a portal. Jump from one side. That's why I'm Dimension 7, but you don't listen. You don't even know who I am. You're not even a real fan. Man, because you're jealous. Because you see me out rapping everybody. You see me out rocking everybody. And you see me doing it better than all them black African Americans. Facts. I tried to pretend like I was cool with her. Yeah. But I couldn't be cool with someone that was non-stop me. Like a n I don't have respect for n steal from people and you make fun of me i have no respect for you what so goddamn ever it ain't about no goddamn skin color motherfuckers but if you want war we can go get war this stupid next to me i have no respect for i don't give a fuck bob said his tiktok account would be swiftly banned for content like this and like i said i had to cut a lot of it out because it gets very creative in terms of racism I'm talking stuff that if I beeped out, it, it was so long and so intricate that it wouldn't. none of it would even make sense. So much of it would have been bleeped that none of it would have made any sense. Hands down, one of the worst I've seen in my time covering individuals like this. And even though Tron couldn't see it, the result of this content would be obvious. I had 195,000 followers. And I got banned. Prior to that, I had 200,000. That got banned. So overall, I should have 400,000 followers. But nobody, tell, nobody tells nobody that. Nobody tells the Island Boys that. Nobody tells Conquer the Quick that. I got people stealing my account. They're stealing my views. Pretty much, they're pretending to be me. How do you think I feel about that? Dimensions Floor is a fake. Do you think be deserved to be talked about? It's a kid, y'all. That's what I heard. It's a kid. And even if it's not, it's a person that's not good. Not a good person. They can't accept the fact that I'm the man and they're just kids sitting there stealing my account. And you all are allowing it. Surely after losing his account, after blaming it all on kids who are stealing his content, Tron is in an amazing place mentally. I mean, he handled losing his first account so well, he's handled all the criticism so well, I can't see anything going wrong. 
Efron Wellburn was booked into the Volusia County Jail Monday. Police in Port Orange say they got a call from a woman who had seen a video on YouTube of someone threatening a mass school shooting in Spruce Creek. Port Orange has two schools with the name Spruce Creek in them. The suspect is also accused of making a second video, potentially threatening violence at his workplace, a Trader Joe's distribution center in Daytona Beach. In this video that I have up on screen right now, Tron makes numerous threats against numerous institutions and people. You see, Tron had been making these threatening videos against the supposed kids that were running his fan pages and all the people that were messing with him and re-uploading his content. These threats, as well as other comments made by Tron, would lead to police wellness checks quite frequently at his apartment serving to only enrage Dimension 7 Yo even more. Leading him to make this video, which I can't even show you most of because the threats are so heinous and so obvious, he goes into detail of what he wants to do. I'm talking stuff so bad, this was his girlfriend's response. Honey, stop what? saying that! Well, I'm just telling The cops are gonna be calm, calm again. So, now's not the time to fuck with me. You wanna fuck with my life, any of my life? I'm gonna go out with a fight, and goddamn motherfucking fans are rioting. So yeah, go ahead and kill me. People are gonna riot your goddamn asses. Facts. I'm not even messing with you when I say that is about all I can show you on YouTube. The threats are very detailed and very explicit. And this woman, who I'm not 100% is his girlfriend, even knows that the cops are gonna be back, and she's 100% right. Because they would be right back, and they would take Tron to jail, where he remains this day. He's been in there over a year and a half. See, after he made the threats online, it was revealed that he had made threats like this before, and it had previous charges. It was also revealed by his co-workers that he had made numerous creepy and threatening statements in the past. And these things will be held against him in court when he eventually does go. From what I've gathered, he's still sitting in jail awaiting trial for all this. And I don't think anybody's in any rush to get this case pushed through, because it's pretty open and shut. The evidence is easy to find and irrefutable. And that's where we leave the Dimension 7 Yo story today, folks. I don't think Tron's getting out of jail anytime soon, but rest assured, if anything does happen, I'll keep you informed and up to date on it. Thank you so much for watching, especially till the end. Big shout out to all my channel members. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. And if you have any other people who you'd like me to cover on the channel, please leave a comment down below. I try to read all of them. I can't really respond to all of them like I used to, but I love to read them. It's one of my favorite things about YouTube. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And wherever you are, I hope that you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon. Just have a good one. And be sure to keep it Kiwi. I'm a mountain boy. Just trying to climb.